Technology is moving at an exponential rate, and we are already surrounded by artificial intelligence in everything from our phones to our TVs to our PCs. And with this exponential growth may come an experience that we have never seen before. If technology continues to get better and better, we will reach a point where the technology will surpass the intelligence of a human. If you add this to an ability to learn and the incentive to survive, we're looking at some pretty troubling circumstances. Some of our machines today use AI algorithms to build systems that make predictions or classify information based on a certain set of data, like Spotify or Netflix. But the problem on everyone's minds is whether there is a singularity. A singularity is the tipping point where intelligent objects become able to create and design better replicas of themselves and other machines without the involvement of humans. On this episode of AI Focus, we will try to answer when AI will reach the singularity and what that would mean for the human race. If you'd love to hear about all the latest AI updates, please subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. It'll really help the channel out. Now back to the video. The term singularity is borrowed from astrophysics and simply refers to a point where all previous laws fall apart. For example, all the laws of physics fall apart at the singularity of a black hole. Here, we are discussing the technological singularity. In this scenario, a machine learns to create new things, keeps creating, and scales it up to an exponential level. The result is unrestrained and unstoppable technical innovations that are essentially happening against our will. When there's a technological singularity, it's predicted computers will be able to discover life-changing discoveries every five seconds. And that's what's so fascinating about them. Technological singularities can result in the enslavement of humanity or can make life-changing discoveries the norm. According to this idea, this development will occur at breakneck speeds and will possibly blur the lines between people and robots. But what leads to technological singularity? The answer is the creation of a machine with the cognitive and functional capabilities of a real person. This could be the last invention made by humans with only two outcomes, complete devastation or utter prosperity. There are three factors that could lead us to this all-powerful machine. The first is progress and computing power. About every two years, hardware computational capability improves. Graphic processing units, or GPUs, are enhanced by doubling and machines are able to identify patterns and a wide range of information thanks to this enormous computational capacity. The second factor that can lead to the singularity is the availability of labeled data. All of our devices are becoming smarter thanks to IoT, or Internet of Things. The online world keeps track of our entire activity and stores it. This includes our buying habits, taste in music, and entertainment. Programs are trained using this data to become better at certain activities. The third factor is the way of training a program. Machines can learn on their own primarily through reinforced learning, which is a subcategory of machine learning. Artificial neural networks are used to train programs to create intelligent algorithms without the need for manual coding. And they're used in many of today's popular apps and self-driving cars. These are the tools super intelligent machines can use to develop even more intelligence and then possibly turn against us and destroy humanity. If this happened, we'd be powerless to stop it. Scientists decided to look at humans and how we treat less intelligent species in order to predict how AI would treat us if it became more intelligent. But it doesn't take a scientist to know how that turned out. We've just now started treating monkeys ethically after running various tests on them, caging them up and killing them. For another haunting perspective, Sam Harris provides the analogy of the human and the ant. We don't hate ants and set out to kill them, and we may even step over them if we see them outside. But whenever there are ants in your house gathering up over some dry juice you spilled, I bet you destroyed them without a second thought, didn't you? Maybe it will be more like when man first discovered fire. It was a life-changing discovery that paved the way for technology and modern life as a whole. But it has also caused a lot of death and pain as well. But we've learned from the damage and we have created safety precautions like fire escapes and fire extinguishers to protect ourselves. AI might need the same precautions. But how do we know when the singularity has been reached? To answer that, first we'd have to ask the question, what is consciousness? Problem is, we don't have the answer to that either. On the bright side, this could trigger a modern renaissance. 
in which we reach back to the more philosophical side of life as we try to learn as much as we can about the human experience. Only our smartest modern minds like Stephen Hawking, Elon Musk, and Bill Gates have warned us about the singularity. But if that's not enough to convince you, Ray Kurzweil, Google's director of engineering, stated that the next 30 years will mark the growth of technological singularity. And he has a great track record when it comes to predicting future technological trends. He says 2045 will be the year that the singularity takes over human jobs. And he calculated this using price performance calculations per consistent dollar. He plotted these numbers between 1980 and 2050, and by 2015, those numbers were where he predicted they would be. As mentioned before, the singularity will likely blur the lines between humans and AI. This is because some believe human brains will be cloned or removed and placed into immortal robots where the person will live forever. Then there's the theory that machines will create robots for their very own. Essentially, robots would only be focused on their goals, and it's likely humans won't be a part of their plans. They might see us as destructive and useless. Then there's the transhumanist theory that we'll one day be able to inject AI into our very DNA, allowing us to, again, live forever. But Kurzweil sees the singularity as our opportunity to evolve along with the AI. He believes that in the next decade, there will be amazing devices, like one that can be injected into the brain with the purpose of improving memory. This human and machine synthesis is in contrast to the darker theory of robot world domination. I like this idea better. But regardless of how you feel about it, the technological singularity would change much of our lives. Take the political system for one. The singularity could change governmental laws and human rights. The economic system could change as well. Humans wouldn't be required to work, as robots would take over all the tasks. Maybe this would free us up to engage in our creative pursuits just because it's what we want to do. Perhaps the singularity would replace money altogether with something more efficient, making money less important. It's a two-sided coin, singularity. It's both a chance of existential crisis and a chance of existential opportunity. The whole topic has amassed opinions on both sides. Some are absolutely crapping their pants, while others think that it's a good thing. A superintelligence could come up with new ways to tackle energy production, transportation, or even global warming. It could bring never-before-seen prosperity to the world. Regardless, the singularity will start slow and only become more and more powerful. So the moral of the story is for engineers to clearly create boundaries between AI and people as machine learning improves. It would be ideal if we could ensure we develop technology with ethical practices instead of using it to spy and scam like we're doing currently. Or maybe we should just improve our own intelligence as humans. As for now, all we can do is live in the present and enjoy the ride. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to the channel and click a video to watch something you haven't seen. Thanks for visiting AI Focus.